Ariel, who's doing this like press tour right now about this tape, she said, and I quote, if I was dumb, I would do something about this. And the only way to do anything is to do the catch and kill. That's the only way to ensure that it doesn't come out. My thing with that is who's to say this is even the only copy of this tape. I pay you a hundred thousand, whatever you're asking for to do this catch and kill and thinking it's all good. And then there's another copy. Another day, another Diddy story. There's this tape that's apparently being shopped around right now that involves Diddy and a younger male star is what the New York Post is reporting. This person is apparently an A-list celebrity. I'm not sure if they were like how old they were at the time of this alleged recording. There's a lawyer who's representing one of Diddy's accusers separately has nothing to do with this video she apparently has become the the face and the the mouthpiece for this this talk about this tape she says she was contacted by the person who has possession of the tape trying to get her to help them sell it they wanted to sell it to the person that's in this video this young young well he's not young anymore but this a-list male celebrity they wanted this lawyer, Ariel Mitchell Kid, to shop it to that person for what they call a, a catch and kill where you stop it in its tracks. You buy it from this person and it goes away. I guess this person, I'm assuming they were contacted based off the New York Post article. Actually, a source is close to this person that say they are hor horrified. In that moment, they were victimized and they feel like they're being victimized again. The sources are saying the person is trying to ignore the chatter about the video. So now with them not taking the bait and buying this video, this person who claims they don't want to sell it, they don't want it to be out there, is now putting it on open market for other buyers. So to me, it sounds like you definitely want it out there. It's a money grab at this point. You have this footage, you feel it's worth something, and you wanna get your payday out of it. So apparently there are two major networks that are in talks and a bidding war for this footage, which is crazy when you think about it. Y'all really about to blow a bag on this video for the purpose of, I guess, just to have this exclusive and you could release it despite the person in the video, according to Ariel, who says she's seen the footage, she says she doesn't think the person know that they were being recorded, I guess from the angles or whatever. So this person, however old they were at the time, is unaware they're being recorded. Now you got somebody trying to buy this footage for I'm guessing the purposes of releasing it. And it's like, how do you even do that legally? Because this person was clearly recorded Ill illegally. So it's kind of like, how does, this, how does this play out in the long run? Ariel, who's doing this like press tour right now about this tape, she said, and I quote, if I was dumb, I would do something about this. And the only way to do anything is to do the catch and kill. That's the only way to ensure that it doesn't come out. My thing with that is who's to say this is even the only copy of this tape? I pay you 100,000, whatever you're asking for, to do this catch and kill and thinking it's all good. And then there's another copy. Let alone, there are screenshots of this tape that is out there because y'all sending it to the people who y'all trying to get to buy this tape to prove that you have possession of it. So there's these screenshots that's out there. There's the, this video clips of it because Ariel says she's seen it, that's out there. So it's like, how, how do we scrub it? So yeah, no, I'm not going to buy this. I'm not going to pay for it. So as damning as it may be for it to come out, I'm not about to be extorted for money. So there's that. And when, when that point was brought up to Ariel by the person who was interviewing her, they like, how, how, how is this legal? How can they, they do this? Because it's illegal. She said that that would be up to the person who buys the footage to figure out. The person selling it just wants to get it out their hands and 
in a nutshell, get money for it. But it'll be up to the person who buys it to figure out the legal aspect on how they can get it out there. Someone said, it sounds like Ariel is a part of it. And low key, when you watch the video of her in this interview and, and talking about it and trying to tell this person like, yeah, I think you should buy it, blah, blah, blah. If, I don't know. Are you getting a cut from this? Are you the person selling it? Because it's like, why you? Out of everybody and anybody that could be contacted to, to try to sell this video, why you? I mean, you're not the only lawyer representing somebody that's involved in this Diddy case. I don't know. It's a little... So I'm a little funny style happening over here. I don't know, Aria. Someone said, Ariel says she didn't want the tape because she isn't sure if the third per person in the video is of age. So it just, it brings me back to what would they do with this footage once they get it? These two major networks, who I could probably think of who they are on the top of my head, but I'm not gonna say, like the point of you buying this is for what? to ruin this person's life? Like, I don't know. And the person selling it, you ain't, you ain't no good, honestly. Cause if you really was trying to do some good, you claim you don't want this to be out. I get you feeling like this has some value to it. So look, I'm gonna sell it to you. But once they're not interested, is, is uh, more rules in the room with us? Like, can you just be like, I right, F it. <laughs> but nah, <laughs> the rent is due and I need my money. So I'm going to take it to somebody else who will buy it now. Screw you. In other words, I was trying to help you, but now <laughs> I guess that's the only thing that I could think of was going through your mind. But all I know is this will probably come out one way or another, be it these, this bidding war comes to term and they buy it or even if it doesn't somehow some way this is going to come out it's just and it's inevitable that this will leak it's too many people involved it's too many emails that's been sent around because i know y'all not just meeting in person at a coffee shop to show this these pictures in this video you're likely sending it you're sending little snippets and stuff like is bound to get into the wrong hand. Somebody's gonna end up leaking it and is unfortunate for the person in the video. That's the biggest thing. This person who is the victim here, if this is actually a real video, they are a victim, a victim because they didn't know they were being recorded. And now you have these people holding it over your head how many ever years later for the sake of clicks. Somebody said they probably should just get ahead of it and say that they have been recorded without their knowledge so they can control a narrative the best they can. That's actually a good idea. And that would actually take the value out of the footage because it's already out there. But, you know, people have their own reasons why they might not want to, you know, reveal, reveal that about themselves. They may feel it could like, Arm them in some way or their image, depending who this who this person is, but that is not a bad idea to get to get ahead of it and take take the value right out of that tape. So now that's the biggest f y'all. But yeah, that's that. Thank you for watching. If you rock with your boy, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, it's called Hollywood and Friends, which means I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the topics I just discussed. I appreciate you. New episodes every Monday night. Until next time. Deuces.